Am I imposing on someone else's free will when manifesting a specific person? In this video, I'm going to be addressing the dynamics between how parallel realities, free will, and manifesting a specific person works. Hi Lovebug, this is Prey, your Love Plus Manifestation Coach, and I'm really excited about today's video because when it comes to manifesting a specific person, and how this ties in with free will. This is something that I was very curious about when I first became aware of universal principles. So I'm going to do my very best today to simplify my understanding of how this all works. Now, the first thing that is important to understand, to acknowledge and to become aware of is that there are infinite versions of you. Now, what do I mean by this? I mean that right now there's a version of you that is watching this YouTube video, but equally, there is another version of you that is eating a cheesecake at a restaurant down the road right now. And there is another version of you that is riding your bike downtown right now. So in other words, there are infinite variations of you that are existing right now simultaneously that you are not aware of. So what this means is that you get to choose which version of you you want to align with and each version of you has its own parallel reality. So, you know, the version of you that is watching this YouTube video right now is in its own parallel reality. The version of you that is eating a cheesecake right now in another restaurant is in its own parallel reality. And that's kind of what parallel realities really mean. A parallel reality consists of a specific version of you and there are infinite versions of you. So, you know, to kind of simplify this down even further, what I'm saying here is that there are infinite aspects of you. This is all you, okay? There isn't just one version of you. There are infinite aspects of you. And from the soul level, your soul is able to perceive all these aspects of you at the same time simultaneously. Your soul is able to experience all these perspectives of you simultaneously. But from a human level, we are only able to experience and perceive what is in front of us right here, right now. So we are not really aware of these other iterations of us that exist um, because we're not tuned into those specific parallel realities. Now, how is this linked with manifestation? Well, it's linked with manifestation because every time that you desire something, what's really happening is that you are tuning into a parallel reality where that version of you already has the thing that you desire. Now to kind of give you an analogy about what I mean here, because I know this can get a bit heady, I want you to imagine a TV, okay? So, you know, you switch on your TV and you have, I don't know, like 20, 30 channels, okay? So, you know, you have a channel that is dedicated to romantic movies, you have a channel dedicated to documentaries, you have a channel dedicated to action movies, you have a channel dedicated to uh, movies, comedy movies, okay? And, you know, let's say that right now you chose to tune into the documentary channel. So you begin to watch a documentary. Just because you're watching a documentary, it doesn't mean that all the other channels don't exist. They exist, they're here, the romantic movie, the action movie, comedy channel they all exist but you are unable to experience them or to perceive them because you're not tuned into them you're only tuned into the documentary channel in the same way i want you to think of all your parallel lives as being all these channels on the tv and what you become an energetic match to what you focus your consciousness on is the channel that you get to experience is the manifestation that you get to experience. So everything already exists here and now. And this is really about you tuning into the frequency of what you want to experience. And when you do this, you tune into the parallel reality of you, the version of you that already has the thing that you desire. So what this means is that you get to choose which version of you you align with. Every single version of you is an aspect of you. And free will comes into it because you get to choose, well, which version of you are you gonna align with? Are you going to align with the confident version of you or with the miserable version of you, with the happy version of you or with the discontent version of you, with the version of you that has a terrible love life or with the version of you that has an epic love life? Which version of you are, going, are you going to choose to align with? Because it all exists right here, right now in the quantum field. So when it comes to manifesting a specific person, 
what this means is that you are never really imposing on somebody else's free will because when it comes to manifesting that specific person what is really happening is that you are tuning into a timeline where that version of you and that person are in a relationship so in other words a specific person that you want to manifest you can either align with the version of them that does not love you and does not want to be with you or you can align with the version of them that loves you back and is in a relationship with you either way the choice is yours you get to align with whichever timeline you desire so when it comes to manifesting a specific person, you are never imposing on somebody else's free will because if there are infinite versions of you that exist and they're all aspects of you, everything is you, then that means there are infinite aspects of everybody else that exist. And what's really happening is you are manifesting an aspect of that specific person, an aspect of that specific person that is representative of what it is that you desire. Now, the reason why it's really important to allow what I've just shared with you to seep into your consciousness is because when it comes to manifesting that specific person, you know, you wanna make sure that you um, keep your vibration pure and aligned and clean. So, you know, for a lot of people, they dampen their vibration when it comes to manifesting a specific person because they begin to doubt and, and think to themselves, well, am I posing on somebody else's free will? If this person doesn't wanna be with me, then it's not meant to be. And the truth of the matter is, if you desire it to be, it is meant to be, um, number one. Um, number two, you are never imposing on somebody else's free will because what you desire already exists. It already exists. It exists right now in a parallel reality and your only job is to become an energetic match to it so that you can shift yourself into the parallel reality that is in a relationship with your specific person. And so when you become clear within you that you are not imposing on somebody else's free will because everything already exists and it's really just about you selecting which section of reality you next want to experience, this is when you become unapologetic in your vibration. This is when you become a strong beacon, a strong signal for what it is that you want. If you, if you doubt, if you're unsure about it, you dampen that signal, which blocks off your manifestation. So to recap what you have learned here today, you are now aware that you are a multidimensional being living in a multidimensional universe. Meaning there are infinite versions of you with the same personality that exist right now simultaneously, although you're not able to perceive it with your human mind. And from the soul level, your soul is able to perceive all these aspects of you, which is you, the infinite versions of you, which is you, um, is able to experience all these versions of you right here, right now. And what is really happening when it comes to manifestation is that you get to choose which version of you you want to align with, which version of, which parallel reality of you you want to tune into that is representative of the version of you that you wish to be. And when it comes to free will, how free will plays into it is that you get to choose the version of you that you want to tune into. Now, when it comes to manifesting a specific person, the same thing applies here. You get to choose which version of that specific person you want to align with. Are you going to align with the version of them that doesn't love you or with the version of them that does love you? If you decide to align with the version of them that does love you, it's all about becoming an energetic match to that so that you can shift yourself into that timeline that already exists where you and that specific person are already in a relationship together. When you become an energetic match to what you want, there will be a bridge of events that will lead you into that specific timeline. So to recap, you are never really imposing on somebody else's free will when it comes to manifesting a specific person. What is really happening is that you are manifesting an aspect of that person that already exists one aspect of that person because that person has infinite versions of them now if you want to take the next step meaning if you want to learn how to become an energetic match to your specific person so that you can shift into the parallel reality and timeline where you and that specific person are living happily ever after click the link below to get access to my free masterclass six steps to manifest your soulmate relationship 
where I show you step by step exactly how to do this. Now, if you found this content valuable, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified every time I post new videos around manifesting your epic love life. And also, I want to hear from you. Are you somebody who was aware of parallel realities and other versions of yourself? Or is this all an aha moment for you? If you'd like me to make more videos around parallel realities, then drop me a comment below to let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching this video, love bug. Give me a thumbs up if it resonated for you and I will catch you soon.